Well, good evening, everyone. What's up, Kyle? What's going on, Paul? How's everyone doing tonight? Seems like we got a, a, a nice little group of people here. We got up uh, Shelda Art, Mr. Brad Fogel. Mr. Brad Fogel. He, he's got some questions and we might have answers tonight. But uh, he's, got, he's always got questions. Hey, Paul, how, how, how's my lighting? Hey, I, I think uh, I got you a good birthday present there. Yeah, this uh, Aperture SE light dome is uh, it's pretty nice. It's small, nice. it's compact, it's cool. Soft, get... very soft for a small little light uh, fixture like that, right? Yep. So as you guys can see, we are back home again, no longer on the road. Uh, I had a fun trip to Dallas. You had a little, like a crazy adventure in like a, like a resort of a uh, cabin. It was a nice cabin. I definitely didn't want to leave. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we're uh, very excited about tonight's guest here. Yeah. I mean, the guy is funny. If you guys, well, I'm sure every, if you're here, you probably know this guy. He's he's a very talented uh, wedding shooter, but he's just got some funny comedy and he just knows how to make fun of himself and Asians. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we got Mr. Vu Nugent here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and bring him on in. Hey, man, I just bought a new camera. Oh, sweet, man. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm happy, man. All the YouTube guy, they tell it the bad. Oh, for real? Can you show me some work you did with it? Let me show you. Bro, that's a photo of a box. You just yell it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, those are so great. I, I, love, I love him. He's a great character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You know, I, hey, you know, I, I called um, Vietnam and I found a I found a guy who was willing to come here uh, to work for me <laughs> to do these videos uh, for a green card. So a green card. Wow. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even have to pay him. It's fantastic. Nice. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> we might have to interview him later on in the show. I yeah. mean, if you, I don't know if it's possible, but it, it may, maybe if yeah. you can pull some green cards out, I don't know. I I told him about it, man. I told him, hey, you might be on live on a, on a show today, and then he's like, oh man, I gotta I gotta go like trim my nose hairs, and I was like, yeah, you should, you know, because it's getting out of hand. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as long as he doesn't talk too much about Canon when he comes on, I mean, this we are primarily sony shooters here so oh, yeah. you know, as long as he doesn't talk that trash in here oh yeah well so sony is trashed to him for <laughs> sure oh man I, so so tell me like I, I i i know a little bit about you and i've watched your channel and obviously i'm really close friends with say park which he's your your second shooter your primary second shooter for your weddings and i know i know your history but I guess just for the sake of everybody watching and, and the people who don't know, tell us a little bit about your backstory. I mean, for, you did not start in in video and you kind of co did a complete ca career jump and you jumped into this videography world. Like, I, I mean, like a lot of people that I've met over over the years. Uh, can you tell us about that? Yeah. So, you know, I was always into art. Growing up as a kid, I drew, I painted, did all the studio art stuff. Um, I was like, I did like AP classes and all that stuff. Um, and, you know, contrary to what I look like, you probably assume, you know, Asian guy glasses are probably good at school. But uh, the reality is I was not. Um, and, uh, you know, something happened to my teacher, uh, my senior year of high school, my art teacher. And uh, I had some problems getting into like the art program into the you know, local schools around here. Um, long story short, pretty much. I had to, you know, find a way uh, to graduate. So I decided to be econ major. Um, I graduated with that and then found a job to, you know, doing accounting. So uh, I actually did accounting for like a solid, like, I want to say, gosh, like five, six years or so. Hmm. And then uh, a lot of paperwork you know, in that job. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it sucks ass. It's, uh, <laughs> I don't know how people do it still, but, uh, yeah. So, you know, when I married my wife, she wanted a wedding videographer. Um, and at the time I was like, no, we don't, we only need photography, you know, like this stuff is too expensive, you know, all this crap. And when I got the video, I was like, dang, you know, like, this is really cool. Um, and then that's when I bought my first camera, which was a Sony Next 6. And the reason why I bought a Sony Next 6 was I was looking at the specs and it was, it did 1080 60 
for like 600 bucks. Hmm. Whereas the Canon, like what everybody else is using, like other like professional guys are using, like 5D Mark Trash, whatever Canon people people use, was like, you know, I think it was only doing 720, 60. And like they didn't have like phase, auto, you know, phase auto, right. uh, phase, phase detection autofocus at the time. And Sony did. This was like 2014, 2013. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the other the big thing about that camera too, and and really, it's what Sony's always been trying to keep their you know that that name under is, but how small it was. It was tiny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know me, I, I'm I'm Asian. You know, I, I mean, I like handling small things. You know what I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean yeah. like you guys, you guys small. are about to get canceled tonight. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no piece of the kid. No, we're, we're fine. We're fine. There's there's some uh there's some funny ideas that last week me and Sydney had that for a video that would have absolutely got us canceled too. So oh really? <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Um, yes, I'm not gonna share that. <laughs> um no, I like my 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 first kind of like go-to vlog camera was the like Mark One Arx 100 Oh yeah, yeah. So I was I was trying to shoot like my a couple of my friends or my wife's friends were doing they had weddings and they were like, Oh, we're not going to hire anybody. And we're like, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. I got a, I got a cell phone gimbal and an iPhone 11 and, uh, yeah. you know, RX 100. We'll make a, we'll yeah. make a mint looking wedding. Yeah. And, I, uh, I gotta say it didn't look, I didn't look half bad. I'm sure it didn't. Um, but you know, it's not anything like what I'm, you're shooting at all, but. So <laughs> I take you guys are definitely like Sony fanboy douchebags all the way through. What's that? Like Sony B Alpha fanboy douchebags all the way oh, through. Oh, all the way through. Yes, oh, yeah, for sure. From the get go, from the beginning, like from you know that's well, their first actually time. not really. Um, oh, Paul, don't tell me. Don't tell me, Paul. Well, my reasoning for jumping to Sony was because I had the exact opposite. Uh, no, it was not. It's not Canon. Don't worry, I didn't go uh -oh. down that rabbit, rabbit rabbit hole. I actually, I was a huge DSLR video shooter fan at the oh, time, yeah. and so. I was convinced to get the Panasonic G85. Oh, okay. And it was a great camera. Uh, it looked good. Uh, for the money, it wasn't bad. The funny story about that is I actually told my wife, oh, I really want to do take better photos for the for the family, right? I want to take some epic photos. I'm going to get a, a micro four thirds beautiful sensor to take nice photos of the family when, you know, cell phones were probably still decent back then, whatever. Mm -hmm. But, um, and then I realized very quickly that shooting solo content with that thing is a pain. I, I used the I had to use the app and try to touch to focus my face, which it worked fairly well. But I went to a Sony B Alpha event in Orlando with Say Park. Actually, we well, were this, both doing this. This like, is not camera camp, right? Challenge. This is not that one time at camera camp. Not that time. Not that time. Not that time. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, so it was. It was. The, we did the, the the Scott McKenna challenge, and I. I, when I went to that boat B Alpha event, I was sold. I was like, man, the autofocus on this thing. I mean, I was walking around with the, uh, uh, let's see, the A7 III and the 20, 12 to 24 F4, I believe, and, uh, and a few other lenses like the uh, 24 to 70. And I was like, all right, I'm, I'm sold on the system. I, I gotta, I gotta figure out a way to jump over. And, and shortly after that, my, my buddy sold me, an A7, A7 III for like $1,400 brand new. Oh, he, he, he like flipped cameras for a living. He's like, yeah, I'll just yeah. sell it to you what I, what I, the yeah. deal I got it for. It, it was, it was it, Amazon returned it to me. I'm like, okay, sure. Sweet. So Fantastic. Then, uh, got that A7 III off the Asian black market, you know? Yeah. The infinity. I, I did do every time you turn on your camera, the switch camera on lens one time, and that was, mm -mm. I'll never again. Never yeah. again. I mean, the only thing wrong with Panasonic is autofocus. Like the rest of the cameras are solid. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if they would just, I don't, I, it's almost like uh, for a while there, it was like, it's like them, uh, Sony adding a flip out screen, but um, they finally listened to their people and, and put one on there. And, mm -hmm. and Panasonic's still like, oh, we got the, we got good enough autofocus. And people are yelling about, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. If they would have put yeah. phase detect autofocus that was, halfway decent in the gh6 mm -hmm. i mean you probably would have seen droves of people switch back mm -hmm. to panasonic but they just the people who are sticking with that them. camera obviously you're sticking with it because they don't care they're probably using manual focus anyway well they're, they're real like, filmmakers you know what i mean yeah, yeah. they're like great, legit great real camera. filmmakers camera. that they know just capture the market by putting manual focus, focus. <laughs> you know what i mean 
And when mm-hmm. something is out of focus because they kind of missed it, it's okay. You know, it's art. You know what I mean? It's bokeh, even though it's supposed to be in focus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But so yeah. you you started with the the next six. Did did you start? Did you shoot professional stuff with the next six? I uh, you know, I started shooting family stuff. Um, you know, like going to uh, like vacations and stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I think I want to say I did one of my friend's weddings, not, I, I was a guest and I just decided to film it with it, I think. But once I became professional, I was, once I already, well, I was about to bust into an accent, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> once I became professional, I had like an A6500 and two A6300s. And you know what? I filmed so many weddings with those cameras and they never overheated on me. Mm-hmm. It's the weirdest thing, you know, like so many guys, oh, it overheats or whatever. Like, I don't know, man. Like, And you know, that's like, the, the funny thing. Well, I really wanted the A6500 when I was buying that G85, but I was like, I, I can't afford to. It, it's like 500 more bucks and I got Then I still got to go out and buy a, a lens or whatever. I'm, I can't mm-hmm. afford it. And I'm shooting my I wish I would have just bit the bullet back then and just did it. Then I wouldn't have had, I wouldn't have even really had to worry about jumping to full frame as soon as possible yeah. i just i got the a7 III because it was you know i got a deal on it and all that stuff but and it was obviously the 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 youtube camera to get at the time when i got it but mm-hmm. um yeah i mean i wish i i really i mean i wanted that the ibis and but it, that was my one worry like oh it's not a flip out screen and it's uh it it overheats supposedly but I still was willing to get it, but then it was over a little too much, too expensive. So I was like, yeah, I'll just get the 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 G eighty five. It it's it's it'll be all right. And Anyways, yeah, my, I just my, noticed my face was kind of like overexposed. So I cranked the shutter, you know, because I want to keep that F, you know, that nice bokeh action. So I cranked shutter. I wonder if anyone noticed. I bet you didn't. Um <laughs> I, I've been, I, I've, been actually, uh, I've been learning to do that more often than yeah. especially if you're Fixed motion and stuff anyway. Yeah, like if I was sitting here, you no one could tell, right? I'm on uh, one one over eighty right now. Oh, are you? Damn it, you're a trash. You are a trash filmmaker. I can't even call you a filmmaker. You are a video guy. It's it's because I it's because I wanted to keep the one point four of this twenty four (laughs) millimeter. I'm at one over hundred right now. I think I I think I'm at one over sixty. So Oh well you're legit. I'm legit. Lighting. This room just looks bright, but really it's 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 just like I'm running crazy lights. So and and he has white. The, the white helps. You got all those affiliate links down there. Got to make sure, you know. What's that? Oh, got to make sure you got the links in the description below for everything. Got to have them, you know. I mean, you know, make my YouTube douche money for sure. I, I need to be <laughs> keep. I need to keep buying stuff. It's the only way I can buy things. My, you know, my pay, wife won't let me. Pay Bert Bert McElroy somehow, you know. You know, in our niche, you know, you have to kind of take advantage of that. Uh, the fact that people who watch our stuff are like us, where we just have to always have like gear. You know, every time you see something kind of shiny, like you have to get it. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, it. That, it's almost like, ooh, I got to have that. Do I do I how, how often am I going to use it? I don't know, but I need to have it. I really do. <laughs> exactly. You know how many of these Chinese LED lights I have? Oh, I got a ton. Like I bought many and then like every week, like some Chinese lady emails me like at Hello dear AM. And you know it's Chinese lady, because that's why it's 12 a.m. you're getting an email. And their English is really bad. Sounds like my mom is typing an email to me. But well, um it sounds like your mom is typing an email to you. <laughs> you start off with saying, Hello dear, and like, um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then like they're like, Would you like to review this light? I'm like uh, what is it? I click on it. It's like this like $60 like RGB LED light, you know? Um, <laughs> and nobody I come out the same factory as after, lighting. but I mean, like, I'm not trying to. It's just too much. I, I you, know? you know, like one of these days, if they have like a four foot light tube, I'll be like, yeah, you know, I'll do. I'm sure, I'll do one of those videos. Send me over too. Dang, you know? Brad Fogel, man. You got to click on my Amazon, bro. I'm just looking at the guy's comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the guests can see all the comments too. That's great. Oh, is it? Okay, cool. Fun. Someone just well, we, we were on. talking about this uh, last week in Texas. We were talking about this. Um, how like everyone's like, dear YouTuber, uh, blah, blah, blah. Check out our stuff. And Sydney's like, I just want to start writing back like dear company or like, <laughs> you know, like dear whatever. And 
write back the same, basically the same message they write you, but just like, like <laughs> make it reversed and like make it funny. And I don't know. It, it was kind of funny the way he said it, but have dear, you, dear company, would you mind paying me, uh, three hundred dollars for an ad space in my next youtube video it's going to be the best thing in the entire world nobody is going to get close to it please i would love for you to put a sponsored spot in my video have a nice day hmm. yeah. well, have you had like i, hope, I don't know multiple if you people from the same company videos. contact you for like the same thing yep yeah it's like do you not communicate it's like yeah. hey um i you already sent me one what oh Oh, uh, well, how about this other one we got over here? It's like, <laughs> yeah, I keep responding back to DaVinci Resolve plugins and be like, I don't use DaVinci. I'm sorry, but <laughs> emailing me. Oh, you should. You should use DaVinci. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's I when you know that you are a professional uh, elite level videographer, because if you, you use Premiere Pro like me, you are 100 percent grade A trash. Yeah, well, you're. Also, oh, you're only better if you're to if... restart every two minutes, too. <laughs> no, if you, you use the wrench, you use, use that, Apple, like, really nice orange and, orange and teal LUT. Orange teal LUT, yeah. Yep. I got some orange teal going on right now. Yeah. Uh, that's my thought, yeah. too. You oh. got, like, purple and uh, orange going on behind me, but I don't know. Start digging this white you're not. You're not feeling douchey today. That's what it is. Yeah, the, I mean, these... These Chinese piece of garbage behind me here, um, they won't. They, they, they the the company sent me the model that is all one color. You can't. There, like, there you go. The next model up is the one that like switches, but you can you can change the, both of them to be whatever color. But they they sent me the lower end model to 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 do a video on. Wow. And it, I think it's been like three months, and they get they emailed me like two times so far. I'm like, sorry, I've been on vacation. And, oh, sorry, I moved my studio space. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, Kyle's looking nice and douchey right now with that with that light <laughs> in the back. <laughs> See, now you are a legit YouTuber. Because yeah, if you yeah, have, yeah, have RGB well, lights behind you, you are though, just right? rubbish. Well, plus if you have purple, I mean, you, you got to have that that Gerald undone oh, yeah. knowledge See, going yeah. on. See, now you know just, you know that he knows what he's talking yeah. about. I'm from Minnesota, so I mean, purple's our color up here. Oh, you got all oh, the Vikings. I got you. You got Vikings, you got you got, you got our old quarterback up there. Who's Kirk that? Cousins up there? Huh? Oh yeah. Actually, by the way, I'm actually going up there in June, Minnesota. Nice. For really? Where, where to? Uh, I have no idea. That's how that's how awful I am. Uh, Are you going somewhere in Minnesota, yeah. Scenic or like Mall of America? I'm going to tell you this again. I... <laughs> what are you going up there for, I should say? Are you going <laughs> All I know is I have a wedding in June in Minnesota. And like, yeah. I just, that I literally won't plan for it until like a week before. So, so tell me, if you need a second shooter... He has a second shooter. If you need a third say, shooter, you no, know, I gotta say, Park man, you're trying, you're trying to take my man Say's work. I know? mean, if he's coming up here, he might want to hang out too. Yeah. He... How about you guys do your thing, and I'll be the guy that's like behind the tree with the camera going. That's perfect. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sir. Can you please move out of my way? I need to get the shots. Okay. No. Yeah. Um. So, so tell me, uh, like I'd love to. I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, only a tube doucher. I'm not. I don't even do weddings i think they're too stressful for me I, i'm well i've never done one before but maybe they're easier than i think but i feel like i would be like stressed out the entire time but um mm -hmm. do, how do you get like how does it how does that work for weddings like i mean obviously they're gonna pay for your travel right you're gonna mm -hmm. they're gonna reach out they what do they they just see your videos on youtube or maybe a friend recommend recommended you and and yeah. so they 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 were like we gotta have this guy and they're willing to pay what, what yeah. top dollar um, to have you fly out there and everything? Yeah, it's like once you have a portfolio, like a lot, a big portfolio, like, uh, you know, I'm at the point now where it's like you go to my website, you look at my portfolio. If you like it and the price works for you, great. You know, if the price doesn't work for you, oh, well, if you don't like it, oh, well, you know what I mean? It's like I don't really try to sell anything. You know, it's like pretty much I get like referrals from old clients. Uh, referrals from photographers that like working with me, which is, you know, most photographers I think I work pretty well with. And then um, uh, and Google search. And of course, like I did like a couple weddings for like some big YouTubers. So like I did Slice and Rice. That one I did with Say. I also did another one. That one was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, I did. Uh, oh, man. Desmond Dennis. So they, you know, 
those wedding videos that they post on their YouTube has like over like two, three million views. And then so like I get like, you know, people contact me who like, um, you know, saw their wedding video. And then it's like, hey, you know, you know, we'd like to have you or some of like that. And then, you know, a lot of times, you know, they just know that this is style they want. And, you know, they're confident I could execute it. Um, so they're willing to pay like that extra money, um, you know, for me to travel up there, uh, travel fees, um, things of that nature, you know, hotel, food, all that stuff. Uh, so sometimes, you know, in the beginning, I was kind of too lenient. I only I was only doing like um, the uh, travel like expenses, like hotel, car rental, airfare, whatever. Um, and now I'm doing like fees too. So it's like every day. So you have to pay for all of my travel expenses and you, you have to pay a fee for like each day. Wow. Because the reality is True. I could easily film like three weddings a weekend. But if I have to go to like, for example, Minnesota, mm -hmm. I could only film really just one. Uh, that one. Um, unless the day before, you know, something works out. But like I could really only film that one. And then so you kind of lose out on those two other days. So you have to charge a fee. Me, me, for right. me, and for, uh, you know, my second shooter. You know, say usually, you know, he needs to get paid for like being away from his family. You know, he could right. be filming a YouTube video. He could be doing something else. You know, it's time value money. It's it's your uh, opportunity cost that they got to pay for. Right. Um, it's, it's a premium, I'm sure. For you know, mm -hmm. than if they're local. Right. Yeah. You know. And if, you know, if not, then you got to find someone local to film your wedding. I'm sure there's plenty of great wedding filmmakers, In cinematographers. Okay. Filmic filmmakers in Minnesota. <laughs> Terry Warfield, man. Great, oh, to, great to have you slipping in here. Yeah. We, we've already got an intro made for you, bro. We're one ready. day, one day, my shirt will be as tight as his. <laughs> tight shirt. But it, will be, it won't be looking at it. It'll be, tight, out, it'll be tight around the center section. Yeah. Let's see. Mine's, fried mine's rice. becoming that way too much right now, too. I need to, I need to get out of the house a bit. That nature. Um, but that, yeah, I mean, that's that's crazy. And you're still doing uh, your nine to five job as well. So all these weddings are just literally on the side. Yeah, my nine to five job is also, you know, I'm just a videography director for a marketing firm. Um, you know, we're remote right now, you know, due to the Chinese virus. So pretty much uh, it's been kind of lax a little bit. Um, I do some projects for them. But yeah, you know, I'm required to like pretty much be ready to go nine to like five, nine to six or whatever. So yeah, I technically have three jobs, really three full mm -hmm. well, YouTube. I kind of treat YouTube as like this junk, as you could probably see from the quality of my YouTube videos. Um, but you know, I'm just trying to maintain it. Um, just doing whatever I feel no, like. I hear you. I'm, I'm super busy at a hospital every week. That's my full-time job. And it's like burning out over there is like spilling into the YouTube stuff. What, what do you do? What do you do at the hospital? Uh, I work in a discharge pharmacy, so we do all the meds for patients that are discharging oh. hospitals. And, oh, wow. But like every time they open a new vaccine, it's like we're just like a half time. We're just a vaccine clinic as well. So, Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So like they open the fourth dose. Now it's like we went from four people a week to like 40 a day. And it's just yeah. like. I got four. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know. I actually got another dose. Like a I haven't got the fourth booster. one yet. But. I got no. I'm sorry. I got a second booster. My wife made me because, you know, I'm always like around people from all over the place, uh, shooting weddings and, um, she's a nurse. So, mm. well, she, you know, she's stay at home mom now, but she used, you know, she's still at RN and all that stuff. So she takes that crap really seriously. So I'm like, mm -hmm. wow. whatever, man, you know, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Warfield says, I'll say this, man, I love your comedy and you bring to the space. I don't care about the quality, but your quality is fine. Oh. Oh, yeah, I mean, I appreciate it. Like, it's, it's, um, you know, it's like, I, I just, I have a limited amount of time and, you know, I don't, I don't write scripts because if I do, I'm not going to be natural. And then, uh, you know, I just kind of like, whatever I feel like doing, I just got to do it, get rid of it, get it out of my head and just move on to my next project. Cause you know, I don't, I don't have time to like do these things, you know, like the, the big time YouTubers do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't get, I don't get sponsored by Storyblocks. You know what I mean? Like I don't get Squarespace sponsorships to like pay for that stuff. You know, like I feel like yours is the kind of channel that would make like a fake Squarespace ad just as a joke. I've done it in your video. I did one where I was like, this video is sponsored by my Squarespace, and it's like my wallet. 
I saw that. Okay. That's oh, old. yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I did. Yeah. That was way back. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Legit. Well, that was never good. Yeah, it, it, it was just like, it was like a really like drawn out video, too. I remember that one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you, hey, but look, you, you find, I don't know if you believe me, but like, my YouTube videos take like max an hour and a half hmm. in terms of like setup, filming, editing, and just copying and pasting all my you, uh, my douchebag affiliate links on there, like hour and a half. Hmm. I just can't. I wish. <laughs> I just can't. It, it's, it's, it's crazy to see other people's workflow, like being able to see like behind the scenes of that too. It'd be kind of interesting. Like for me, I just, I spent way too much time putting videos together. Like first I have the idea in my head, which is always like way above what I'm capable of filming <laughs> by myself. You know, like you're like, this is what I'm going to do. And you're like, I literally need like six people to pull this off. So that's not going to work. And then Dude, you like, finally figure out a way to do it. You wait that, like three I saw weeks, you doing, sit on the, the couch June for a while, and you go out great, and film man. it. So I yeah, really like the, what you did with that Jewin uh, gimbal uh, video. The, the M3 with the, yeah. the tour of the uh, yeah, the man. world. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Came, he came down I, to visit me. That was great. Yeah, I was like, is this iPhone Doe's channel? Like, damn, Kyle. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I was trying to do a little bit of say park magic there, but like. <laughs> I didn't plan. So we were like rushed. It was starting to rain. We got there late. It was cold. We had like four people. So it was like, we couldn't do just what we wanted to do. We still had to kind of keep together. Keep the like, happy, I'm going to do know? like one of those safe park montages where it's transitions and, yeah. you know, masking and all that stuff. And mm -hmm. I get home in the edit. And I'm like, none of these transitions are working. Like they, no, I can't mask any of them because I didn't pass a pole or something yeah. to, to block the yeah, shot. You got to plan like, those oh, out. You know what we'll I mean? Just, we'll just, we'll just put it together with slow-mo and, add some stuff in there so a and then it, it, it like irritated me you're like you, man. waiting for people to stop walking in your shot like okay here's my shot you start walking and then it's like ah oh, fuck the battery died like hey man it's not it's so, not about transitions and all this <laughs> all about storytelling storytelling yeah mm -hmm. we want i just wanted to convince the people that we went across the whole world with a gimbal uh <laughs> you know not 20 feet to the next you know country in epcot so yes sir hard, Yes, sir. There was a lot of the stuff I didn't add. There was a me and Paul were chasing around this like swan at the hotel resort. Um, I put a little bit of it in that video, but like we we're just like running around. I'm like, we're gonna get kicked out of here soon. They're gonna be like, quit chasing around our animals with the thing. And but I don't know. Disney's a, Disney's a fun place to do random videos at. That's for sure. It's just yeah. out and of it's cool because you could expense it. That's exactly what we did. Mm -hmm. So someone asked, do you ever feel burnt out working three jobs? Well, the long-term plan. Did I miss that? I'm not going to answer all of that, but like, you know, I don't know. I love what I do. So it's like, it's like if I wasn't doing this stuff, like what, I, what would I be doing? You know what I mean? Um, you know, I could probably go fishing or, you know, do this, that, and the other. But like, I feel like, yeah, sometimes it sucks. Like, you know, editing on Sundays while watching football, like on my phone, like right here while editing like a wedding video or something like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's, it's like, I enjoy it. You know, I kind of get lost in it sometimes while I'm like filming or editing. Um, I just think it's amazing how quickly you can turn around a, a decent trailer after a wedding. I mean, you, your goal is like what, 24 hours, right? Before. Yeah, to, man. I'm going to ask, you know, a lot of times if I get home from the wedding early enough, uh, like let's say 10 PM, um, you know, I back up my footage. Um, you know, I have like a bunch of like those dongles. So I could like back up like five SD cards at once. I'll go take a shower or something, come back down, um, you know, search for music for about half an hour. And I just edit it, go to bed at 3 a.m., wake up at 9, 930. About what you know, in my mind, so I could do it really quick. We have a question here from somebody that, that asks, what, what's your favorite lenses for you know, weddings and group gatherings with a camera. Um, my favorite lens right now is a 50 millimeter um, G Master lens. Um, you know, it's expensive, but I got money. So I just like... <laughs> no, I mean, like, um, yeah, it's a 50 millimeter GM. Um, you know, that's that's my wedding lens. But that's because I have the luxury of filming with a second shooter. Right, and the right. second shooter is getting typically all the wider shots, right? I mean, right. So I have four millimeters, twenty-four to seventy. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I know he's gonna get the wides. Yeah, and you know, I, I let him. You know, he's an artist. You know, he's a you know professional filmmaker. You know, he's been doing it for a long time. 
I completely trust him to do whatever he wants with the lens. Right. Like, I don't care. Um, but, uh, yeah, if I was solo shooting, like, you know, you definitely want to get like a 2470, you know, like I don't see, you just want to be able to get like different shots. Like you can't, you know, you want to get a wide, you want to get a medium, you want to get a tight and yeah, you can, you can step back with a 50, but like a 24 mil or something wider, like for a venue, it just looks more epic. You know what I mean? It's just the way the focal length is. If you want some, you want to make something look grand, you need to have a wide angle lens, you know? So, um, yes, just if you're a solo shooter, like you can't really stick with one lens. Um, but you know, always 24, 70 or, uh, at least 28, 75 or something, something of that nature. Um, for sure. Yeah, I, I that would be my suggestion. I mean, I think if you're shooting events, you you everybody needs to have at, at least a twenty four to seventy because it's just so versatile. You you don't want to be swapping when, when you're we don't you don't have time at these events to swap. Oh oh, let me switch to this lens and get the shot. You know, by the time yeah. you swap the lens, that that shot's already long gone. So you just yeah. need a very versatile lens. And I know a lot of that people who would have been uh, if that Tamron was stabilized, that thing would be an awesome lens too for that. Yeah, yeah. like more of a fixed vocal range. Yeah. And I know a lot of, um, you know, guys, a lot of newer guys, man, like they come in, they have a gimbal and they'll just slap on a 24 mil or something like that and just go all day. But, you know, it looks bad. You know what I mean? Like you can't, you can't be shooting wide angle all day long, you know, and you can't get close to people because once you get close to someone wide, it's going to look like looking like this, you know what I mean? Like it looks bad, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, you just gotta look at watch a movie and see like how many different like focal lengths they use for what. Yep. And most time, like when people are talking to each other, it's always like a 50, 60, yep. 85. Terry just wrote 2470s as event lens, but I thought I thought Terry just sold his 2470. Well, did you just have a he video? Did. He's, he's <laughs> that's kind of why I show this this comment here. He said this guy wants the 24 to 70 D's nuts lens. Uh, yeah. D stands for D's nuts or dusty nuts, really. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, I'm waiting for the GM Mark three. Yeah, two. <laughs> yes. So, I heard. I heard the the new GM is going to be like pretty light. Like I heard it's going to be nice and light. Um, but I know it's also going to make your wallet light. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I probably yeah. also know the quality is probably not going to be any better than like the Sigma or the Tamron's of the world. Right. Um, the only downside with the Sigma is like it gets dust in. Even like the newer models, like some dust gets in there. Um, but apparently it's easy to clean. So yeah. you know, I gotta, say I you know, he's Korean, so like now. he knows how to clean stuff, like dry cleaning and stuff. So he took he took <laughs> apart the he took apart the lens and then he like he cleaned it himself. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, yeah. Well, I, I know that Sigma is even saying that they're that you can ship it to them and they'll they'll cover everything and 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 send it back to you. So yeah. I pretty much like I seem like I feel like I just use my ND filter a lot. So having that on there is kind of helping. Not I don't know. There. I think I think the dust goes through like. The actual like when you pull the like, you yeah, know, when you pull the lens in and out, something I failed to do. That's why I have two kids. But like um, it's, you know, <laughs> dust gets in the. OK, Um yeah, I, I, Terry said that it's it's gonna. He thinks it's gonna be lighter, uh, faster, sharper than the you know, the regular one. And of course, I believe it too. I think it's gonna be about twenty five hundred dollars. Uh, not to mention, I, I'm sure, I'm fairly certain that if if it, it is if it's coming soon or you know whatever, I, I, just keep an eye on Terry Warfield's channel. If you're not sub to him, go check it out. I'm sure he's gonna have the pre production model because. Terry Warfield is just that cool. He's good. He's good. He's good. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if anybody caught that joke you just landed, but uh, you said it so darn quick. <laughs> I, I caught it. Yeah. Kevin. Lee. Yeah. So Kevin, I think he's a. Uh, is he one of wedding one of wedding videographers? Yeah. It's already in the hands of reviewers. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. What's well, not in Terry's hands? Oh, that, is it is know. it in your hands, Terry? Oh damn, man, that's messed up. I, I would have th I would have thought it would have been in the hands of a uh, guy was visiting, but I didn't see it unless unless I was shooting on it. Hey, man, they're gonna it. they're gonna do Terry dirty like that. That's messed up. They're gonna do they they're gonna sponsor your latest video, and they're still and they're not gonna give you the new lens. I mean, come on, man, unbelievable, man. That's yeah, not they fair. Need, they need to be giving Terry stuff up front. 
It needs to be one the of the day first. I get something from Sony, like Sony said, hey, you know, two months, you know, we're going to release this. You know, can you review it? I made it big time. That's what I know. <laughs> I I'm going to call my mom, tell her all about it. <laughs> she can be like, who can? You know, <laughs> are you a doctor? Are you a lawyer? Who can? <laughs> like, my parents would be like, well, they gave it to you then, right? Be like, well, no, I got to send it back. Be like, well, I mean, I think they should probably give it to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's me. It's like if I told my dad, and I was like, hey, look, you know, I bought an A7C. He'd be like, no, you didn't get an A7A? You probably didn't get that. <laughs> it's a report card joke. It's the old Asian dad joke. <laughs> the Asians, they, they, they had, if you didn't get an A, they were, they, they, you're, you're done. Yeah, man. Get disowned. You're, you're, after you're no after Nintendo you. for you until the until the next uh, report card comes out with an A. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, I I see. What, I understand what Terry said. It's it's not all that it's cracked up to be, uh, and he's and then you know of course and and you don't get to keep any of it. Oh uh, yeah, we you, you no you, you it, know. it's a loaner. They they have a, a handful when they send out to everybody. You, they don't. They're they're not paying you for it. You're just accepting it because you know that you're going to be one of the first YouTube douches videos that they get. They gets aired with the other twenty other people that get it. And uh, you know, you I just, feel like a lot of a lot of YouTubers who get those things they feel that way because you're kind of stuck. You know, you can't when you do get those things. I think Sony kind of demands you not to like mess with anything else. <laughs> they can't use other cameras and stuff like that. I don't know. It's an interesting space we live in. Man. Uh, we are in, in terms of YouTubers, because I actually don't watch our niche that much. I watch a lot of like fishing channels, outdoor stuff, mm-hmm. catching cooks and stuff. That's what I like watching, like on YouTube. That's like my thing. But you know, when I watch our stuff, man, it's just like it's a grind, man. You know, like we're creatives and we like break out of our corporate roles to. Um, do what we want to do, like do this thing. But then we end up kind of getting like, we just kind of work for the big corporation anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you kind of get like pulled in to like reviewing stuff, getting these sponsorships and you kind of have to like hold to it. And, you know, I'm pretty sure I know I wouldn't like reading off like a story blocks read, you know what I mean? But I guess it'll pay me like money. I'll do it, but that's the same thing as doing being account accountant, right? I'll do right. it, easy yeah. money. It Terry Terry said, you know, he's at pretty much at the point where, unless there's big money involved, he'd rather just buy the lens or the product or whatever it is himself and just and just make the video. Um, yeah, I got sent like a this we light thing, and the lady keeps emailing me, and like I don't want to review it because I haven't like used it like in a professional setting. You know, to make sure it's working, that, you know, it doesn't like turn off, you know, like whatever. Mm-hmm. And she keeps bugging me. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't know if I'm telling you, you want me to just send this back to you. I, you know what I mean? Like, I'd rather just not deal with it, you know, <laughs> exactly. or can I just pay for it? Like, what is it? You know, I'd rather not even do it. I'd rather just pay for the damn like. What? The 49 bucks. <laughs> what is it? A, a, a full was it, it wasn't a new ninja, too, was it? No, man. It's like it's like a. Uh, it's like one of those. <laughs> Terry, he's probably right. I just saw Terry's com- comment. Um. <laughs> I, you'll never get anything from them again, but. Yeah, so, oh, you, you know what? It, in- hey, hey, you know what? Why don't we just do that right now? So there's a light here, guys. Like a dang, like. Yes, that's, light, a, that's the uh, Ninja 400 Mark II. That was the one I was II. thinking of. <laughs> it's bright. I mean, like, if you want, like, a bright ass, like, Chinese knockoff of aperture light, this will be it. Um, and like the only downside is when you plug in the battery, you like use battery power, you can only get 50% output. Yes. Which means you go from like Caucasian eyes to Asian eyes, like in terms of visibility. <laughs> YouTube has just shut off your channel. Uh, pr- sure. Probably, yeah. You're done. You're done for. Two what two white guys, you know, with Asian jokes going on. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I could, stop I could Asian, go on about Asian that a little hate, bit, guys. but stop, stop Asian I hate. believe it's that time again where we really need to. Uh, I'm, I'm sure Bert is, is is waiting on us, so I, I think it's time for the famous episode 
of Know Your Creator. Hello, everybody's favorite rec center at the Creator Camp. This is the game that tests your knowledge. This is Know Your Creator. I'm your host, Bert McElroy, and tonight we'll be going head to head with our guest on who knows our creator best. Rules of the game are simple. All you have to do is answer five questions correctly, and the contestant with the high score at the end wins the game on Know Your Creator. Bert, Bert, hello, Bert. Huh? What? What's going on? What are you doing, dude? Dude, what? What are you doing? Where are you? You're supposed to be, you know, hosting our show here. Know your creator. We we already did that. We just we just finished that one with Sydney Diagonal, whatever his name was. De Ong's and get it right. Anyways, listen. We we pay you good money here. I expect you to be on time and and presentable. What what the? I'm still on what, vacation, where, Paul. What, what the hell? What day is it? Oh shit! It's Wednesday already. All right. Well, uh, I don't have a lot and prepared for this. I guess uh, a little I'm a little hungover. I need hold on. Oh. Ooh. There we go. All right, you need some questions, I suppose. All right. Do you are you even prepared with questions? I mean, you know, you told me you were on vacation. We've got last week, so Boo I don't know. here, the best, you know, wedding filmmaker out there, and 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 you're you're, well, you're not you're not even in your right mind right now. It looks like. Hmm. I don't know. How about how about we just do one question? Because I know this guy. I probably know him better than you, Paul. But we'll let you answer the questions. So. We're going to do one question to rule them all here. If you get it right, you win. If you don't, you probably win a t-shirt. We'll see. So, Vu, Paul, in one of your interview videos, what was one of the main features that you don't need on a Sony camera, according to the former Sony employee? Vu, do you know the answer to that one? There's one thing that you don't need. One main feature on that camera you don't need, according to a former Come on, who you Sony need, employee. You need to know what this, the answer is. Golly. I know what it is. My oh, I'm getting the margarita right out of the bottle, Paul. God, was it a... Bert, Bert told you. Ibis? Me. Was it Ibis? I'm going to say... You got, a, you got an answer? The flip out screen. Oh, man. I don't know. Let's just check this thing. My guess is good as yours. interview with a former uh, Sony employee. Um, see how it goes. Hello, my name is Fook Dakho. And your name? Hi, my name is uh, Arctic Manmade. I'm working for the uh, Sony B Alpha teams for the past 20 years since the A7S 2 was released. Wow, that's a long time. Uh, why did you leap Sony? I got, uh, I got fired. What happened? I told them the past 20 years, they do not need a stupid flip screen, 4K 60, or the, the stupid 10 bit. That is completely unnecessary for the people who use the camera. It's stupid. Why did you tell them that? Why do you, why do you need a stupid flip screen? What are you, a stupid douchebag YouTube vlogger? Is that what you are? You need a flip screen to see yourself? Why, why do you need that? You do not need a flip screen. Well, I think we got our answer. Paul wins again. What do you know? More than I know more than the creators about themselves, I guess. Oh, you're like, that is you're classic. You're 4-0 now. So that let's, is classic. Let's, 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 let's run that other clip. All right, we have a winner. Bob, tell them what they want. It's the 1998 Lincoln Continental, a beautiful blend of luxury and contemporary design. Enjoy the rich rewards of driving a carefully crafted machine. Comes with standard features, California Emission Plus Rescue Package, Undercoat, Scotch Guard, and Chrome Wheels. This is a Lincoln. And as always, thanks for watching.
watching. We will see you next week on Know Your Creator. Actual prizes may vary. The Lincoln Continental is subject to change to a Creator Camp t-shirt. Paul, well, I thought you told Bert he was back this week again. What what happened? Um, I, I actually couldn't get a hold of him. Uh, well, I mean, he, he looks like... I mean, I, just, I guess I just assumed he was in me... Hawaii for the last week. Did you call him during nighttime there? Oh, crap. Or like, did you do your famous 5 a.m. text message? Because it would be way, like, nighttime over there. Yeah, I mean, I only do my YouTube stuff now at 5, 5 a.m., so that would probably explain that. Probably um, uh, well, Vu, listen, I, I know that we're getting short on time here, but I think you said we might be able to interview your your assistant. Is right, that, that's right. He, is you want, he, you is want he, him is now? he available? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Hey, 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 get over here right now. Oh, boy, oh, boy. The Canon 1DX Mark III is such a hot topic. Well, I've had complaints that I am not detailed enough. I don't have any information. I don't have any specs. So I went ahead and hired an artificial intelligence assistant. It's a very popular thing I've seen to these days on YouTube. I looked into it and it's way too expensive for my trash channel. But I found a cheaper alternative in a Vietnamese AI. It's newly developed, custom made just for me. Yes, it's third world. Yes, it's not as robust as those British speaking ones, but I think it'll do. My bit. Can you read me the specs for the 1DX Mark III? Hello, Mitovu. The Canon 1DX Mark III have 4K 60p with a new AF sensor. My bit. Please give Sony support a call. Hello, thank you for calling Sony Alpha support. This is Man Mate. How can I help you today? My name, my bit. And I'm calling to ask you about a uh, new camera. Excuse me, sir. What is your name again? I, I did not catch. I did not catch you. What is your name? My name, my bit. It's spelled M A I B I C H. Oh, oh. Hello, Mister My Bitch. Uh, what uh, what is the question you have about new cameras? Uh, what I got? Hey, that it trap. I don't like that one. Mr. Wu, you know, he paid me nothing for that video. Well, you he know, paid me you... nothing. He a trap. He make me work here for green car. I wait so long. He not give me green car. It's been five years now. He hasn't given you a green card yet? Not yet, man. What Very the heck? Sad. You know. What's ama what's amazing to me is is it seems like you were first in AI form and and now you're in the flesh and blood. I mean, wow. How how in the world does that happen? I have no idea, man. It it crazy. He 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 tell me he don't want to pay for her internet. It cost too much for the AI to come to the internet, so he fly me here. He on the work you? visa. My visa expire now. Hmm. He tell me I talk trap about Sony camera. Next time ICE come to house, take me away. He he a bad guy, man. He at home. I don't, I, don't, home, I don't understand why you don't like Sony that much. I mean, it's it's way better than that Canon color trash. Hey man, Sony have the trap color. Canon have the bad color shine. It have the bad. The Sony color look green like your RGB light in the back from China. <laughs> that track green RGB light. It's no good, man. Why why are you guys so quiet now? <laughs> huh? You don't like the truth? I tell you, Paul, you you are a YouTube dude back. You put I the light gonna show us something. You need to know. buy the affiliate link in the description below. You are a YouTube. Track. I've seen your work, buddy. You, you, you need some, you need some serious cinematic lessons. You should take a few pointers from your boss man that shoots these epic wedding films. I mean, you you can't even film a box that that looks properly. You're probably shooting it in you know 
uh, one over two hundredth or something like that for your twenty four frame second footage there. Oh my god! You want me to learn from Mister Wu? First, he shoot the Sony, and then he crank shutter. He it trap. He it unprofessional. You want to learn how to shoot the bad video, the bad. You want to be a war winning. You buy my master class tonight. Oh, your master class. Oh, my master class. How much? How much is this master class? Only five dollars. Five dollars for you, but because plus you plus white plus ten dollars. Oh, because I'm white ten dollars. <laughs> we just went there. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding, man. Well, it. Maybe I might pay that if you can throw in a nice Manny Petty for me. You can probably do it pretty well. Oh, I I I could do the bad Manny Petty here. I yeah. am the Ari Alexa of Manicure. I am the bad. Someone's asking if there's a discount code for this master class. The discount cl- uh, code for the master class is can and have the bad color shine. Good luck spelling that. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Can you spell it? I don't know how to even <laughs> spell my name with the English letter. Even though Vietnamese is the same as English letter, I don't know how to spell my name. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, uh, I don't know. I, I think this show is going downhill quickly with you on here. So I think I think we're just going to have to boot your cannon color butt off here. And we really want to bring your boss back. That's Seriously. not nice, man. He, yeah. My boss no good. He no good, man. Sorry, he we're, only we're... have subscribe because I on his channel. Without me, he have no subscribe. He does have a lot of shorts on there with him on there. So he is making a lot of money with he, you. Have a, you do have a point. He only give me two bowl of rice. And some dried fit with the soy sauce and a fish sauce. And he make me drink water from the sink. He don't give me the filter water. He don't give me the spring water. He eat a trap bot. You know, I, can, I don't I can have the COVID you. vaccine. I ask him, I need the COVID vaccine. He don't give me. He don't get me the vaccine yet. No green car. No nothing. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I have to go. I have to go now. Yeah. You want me to stay? You, I go. I go now. What, what, yeah, we're, we're going. What's you in the shorts? The YouTube shorts on Vu's channel. Oh, okay. you can show us then. You can show us plenty then. Thank you very much, yeah. the guy. Thank you very you much, white guy. Got, uh, what did you say? Green car? Is that what you said? Green it's car. A green car. Yeah, green I don't car. have. Yeah, I mean, a green no, car. Can you get me? Anymore. Can you get me green car? You have citizen. I love you a green see? car. Yeah, green, green cars are great. Car. But, I need the green car to stay here. No? Okay, oh. bye. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm surprised he didn't try to show us something because usually in those videos, he, sh- he show you. He shows you something, so. Well, I think Vu is finally back. I think we're going to have to. Yeah, I'm just to bring him back in. Yeah, Vu. Vu. I, uh, I did not realize that was going to happen. You were napping? I didn't realize that was going to happen. I didn't realize that. Oh. He, you know, he was, <laughs> dude was going to say all that crazy, crazy stuff. He's lying, man. He's lying. Well, you, you know. need to like, you need, you need to give him a little bit more money. I mean, he's <laughs> doing a lot of your shorts. That's for sure. Yeah. He was giving out discount codes for master classes too. So I don't know. Hopefully he was able to do that. Yeah. I, I uh, you know, hopefully it'll work. You know, I know yeah. how to spell it, but you know, if you want, <laughs> if you want the code, you know, just message me in my channel. I'll let you know what it is. This 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 guy in your channel says he's he subscribed just for, you know, your assistant there. So I am I am sure, I am sure because my so, actual really normal content, like normal two doucher content, is trash. It's trash. Sometimes people just don't want to learn about weddings and how to film stuff. They just want to see, see see the goods. You know, like they want yeah. someone to show them the goods. Hmm. You know, got a. I think most of most people watch this want to learn about a uh, new gear, or or like re- you know review on something specific. Like I bought a DJ Action Two to do like POV at a wedding, and 
I just searched that and I just, I watched like a bunch of random YouTubers I never heard before. Like I've, you know, I just watched that. I didn't even subscribe, you know, I just watched their video. Oh, come on. It's dirty. Man. Did it overheat on your weddings? It actually didn't, man. Um, that was good. You know, they updated the firmware. They got like this like case on it and it was fine mm-hmm. the whole time. No overheating. I mean, he wasn't using a cannon, so of course it wasn't overheating, you know? Yeah. Cannon will be as hot as that fire on your, that little like campfire. Yep. And you that have a cannon R5 right there in the bottom corner of the screen. <laughs> That's a good point. I should just put an R5 down there. You, you should. You actually get rid of the wood and put an R5 there. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I, I think everybody needs to, when they're thinking about YouTube, is is in, is kind of invent themselves or, or really be themselves because nobody else could be you. But I I really enjoy the YouTubers that, that put a little bit of personality into their gear reviews i mean i love watching gear reviews i love gear i mean i think it's safe to say that if you're a camera nerd you're probably a gearhead as well and and it just gets kind of tiring watching the same old you know uh, just sitting down naming off specs it's it's really nice and you know sometimes relieving after watching a number of videos that just to see somebody with personality in it so i I really do uh enjoy watching you know your your stuff there so uh, (laughs) dude like I left the corporate world, you know, world to stop being corporate. You know what I mean? You <laughs> go to work every day and you pretend like you are, you like your job. You know, they ask you, what are your goals? Oh, in five years from now, I would like to become a controller, an account manager or something. Hell no, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> of course I don't want to do that. But then you go from here and you're going to be the same fake, you know, oh, by you know whatever or like oh you know this this video is sponsored by squarespace even though i use a completely different website for, you know, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if that's true but you know what i mean like you know just yeah I don't like watching stuff and then you could tell that is not them you right. know in and you know in some ways my channel like when i like talk about gear i'm not really myself but it it is kind of myself when I like start joking around. Yeah. It's, except it's for like five, six, ten minutes straight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a, it's like people have to put their personalities in the stuff because I mean, even if you look at all the the people who actually do kind of rise to the top, it's it's mostly because of their personalities, and it's because anyone can talk about a camera or whatever, and some of them are informative, but it's the ones that are just like you start watching the channels for them. Yeah. And you like, know, regardless of what they're putting out, because it's just the and personalities is fun. There's value to like anything, you know. Like there's some guys that uh, do like all the specs, you know, like every little nitty gritty thing, like Gerald, right? Right. And I appreciate that. You know what I mean? Very much so. And yeah. There's, you know, the one thing Gerald doesn't do is like he doesn't sh- actually like use the camera for like shoots. And then, so you need people like that. You know what I mean? Like, why are dudes reviewing gimbals when they don't use them professionally? You know what I mean? Like, I see these gimbal reviews, they get like, you know, from Juin or whatever. And like, probably Say is probably the only dude who reviews Juin gimbals off the bat that actually even uses that thing. <laughs> In professional form, he would take like the M3, like the small ass one, and he would try to use it at a, wed- as a, at a, at a wedding. Like this guy puts effort out. Right. Whereas these dudes, you know, they, they use it just for like the video, just for the YouTube video, and we'll never touch it again. Right. That's not a good example of how a product is used. How is the battery? You know, how is the battery like? Is the is the, the clips gonna break? Which happened to my June Weeble S? Like, you don't know these things. It mm-hmm. takes like months to like figure this stuff out. But you know, now yeah, these like we get these things. Oh, it's a sweet new gimbal is coming out. Like the Weeble Two. That thing like vibrates and look all unstable when you do underslung too low. No one knows that. Huh. I do because I've seen Say's footage. No offense to Say, <laughs> but Say <laughs> stop using the Weeble 2. He's using the Crane 2 S or the Weeble S because the Weeble 2 is like Folk Mai would say, it's trash. It's trash. I still use I still use my Weeble Weeble S and Yeah, the Weeble Crane S is the Crane 3 is good for certain cameras for sure. No, well, it's it's oh, actually but... fantastic for like very heavy setting, like 2470. The only issue with it yeah. for me was that my clips broke. 
my uh, my little locks. Hmm. So now, yeah. like you know, it's just dangling around like a flaccid sausage. Yeah, I, I've had no problems with mine, and I was like shooting music videos with mine on. You know, like it was, I did one video where I'm on a boosted board on a highway behind a car on a bridge, trying not to get hit on the by any other car. You know, under slung, not really even like yeah. looking where the camera's going, and uh, that thing held up well. It, no, that's great. legit, man. No, the, I mean, I still recommend like if people want like if people ask me for like a budget gimbal, um, unless you know, I would recommend the RS two if they had a little more money. But if you're on a five hundred dollar budget, yeah, like the Weeble, the Weeble S is like legit, like still the if way. If you to don't go. care about underslung, like the Crane V two, you can buy that for like a hundred bucks. Yeah, Crane V two. That thing's mm -hmm. awesome. It's big, but it's yeah. durable as can be. I think Henbu. On you, he still uses the old crane too. Like yep. that is, he's been using it ever since. Wow, hasn't switched all this time. That's legit. Yeah, a buddy of mine is. Uh, uh, he said I could have his RS two. Uh, or oh no, not RS two. RSC two. R RSC two. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm I thinking about. I don't know. I'll, I want to try it and see if I like it better than the Weeble S. And then you might. I think you will. I, I I've used RSC two. I think you will. It's it's a little bit more solid, I think. Um, light. I mean, maybe it's not as light, but yeah, it's a little bit heavier probably than the than the Weeble S. But yeah, I mean, when you, when you shoot weddings, do you do you ever put like like a lanyard on on your gimbal or anything to keep it? No, man. I just hold it all day. Hold it all day long. That's yeah, man. You know, so like Asian, I got, Asian I, got, I got these shoulders. You know, I'm not Terry yeah, Warfield be. quality. But I got these shoulders. Because you don't have tight shirt going on yet. <laughs> That's like Terry's real secret. He just goes shoots weddings with heavy gimbals and just. Terry looks like he's he, a he little like, eighty pound guy until he shot weddings. It, the, Terry's secret is he just he still uses a Ronin. <laughs> no, Terry's secret is he uses the Ronin S and he puts like he puts like I don't know a Canon 4D Mark uh, Canon 4D and then he you know wait is it I don't know. 5D Mark IV or whatever, and he puts uh, 7200 on it. He just runs around like this all day. Or the Ronin M just going mm, all day, you know, and mm -hmm. doing squats. Yeah. Um, we, we got one more segment of today, and, uh, you know, it's this is this is the one that, you know, you're probably very familiar with. Hammer. Cam. Oh. Well, that 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 sound effect is probably very appropriate for what your story. What 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 is your your one time at camera camp or you know your your embarrassing camera story you have for us? Me, uh, I was filming a wedding and then uh, I was walking backwards, uh, filming the groom. Epic twenty four millimeter uh, gimbal shot, and I tripped um, and fell in like one of those little cornhole things because you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm blind. I think I think I've actually seen that that clip. I think we might even have it here. Oh really? Oh crap. You know, I'm the champion of this. I was meant for this. this and I oh, oh, oh. <laughs> did you get that? I'm good. <laughs> I don't. I, don't know. Oh, oh, I got it. <laughs> no, I'm good. I got it though. I <laughs> you know that footage would have been really shaky had it not been on a gimbal yeah dude i think oh, that wow. was a weeble less just like we're talking about links in the description below guys you know just if you want to <laughs> well it's, it's almost hard to, it's almost hard to tell that you actually fell until all of a sudden you say something in the video because right yeah. you would Those expect like a handheld camera that thing would have gone backwards yeah, or something. Rough. And like and the reason why it didn't look like because like as i fell like instinctually like i i picked it up so yeah. like it wouldn't damage my Mm -hmm. my uh my camera yes sir yeah usually uh usually we don't get the the opportunity of showing the actual clip from said embarrassing story but that was yeah. uh but you had, had record because it's on record i was doing my job you know on the field <laughs> yeah so all those those heavy gimbals you're you're very used to it in those weddings but um yes, sir. yeah man i i really appreciate you uh coming out tonight and and taking the time i know you're not typically used to live streaming mm -hmm. um and you are streaming on your channel too so some of your 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 subscribers get a chance to chat um 
anybody i know that there's one question that somebody hasn't asked yet but they if they're still out there um they're they're asking about the um uh the the uh, other chinese trash filter company what was it um uh free will free will mm-hmm. yep uh the the magnetic system and they were they're curious on uh brad brad fogel um he just bought one and he was curious would do you, do you actually like it do you enjoy using it now i have one too and i kind of gave him my opinion on it which one which 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 one well i don't have the cool updated one that you have i have this 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 old this old you know See, same one that kyle, oh, what kyle has is that yeah that's a new one right yeah, I put mine in a different bag because it's easier. Yeah, so to, I have you know, like an 82 millimeter one of those. I have a 67 because it does. I don't like doing like step up because it makes like my small lens all big. And I have a 72 and it's always on and it's on right now. So like right now I have like the mist. So you can see my lights. Um, obviously, this is also an end. Like it's like a one stop. Yeah. So uh, my lights look pretty standard right now um and then because it's a magnetic it's just like yeah now i i look like at the, look at the look at the diffusion on the light the bloom looking like philip bloom up in there mm-hmm. blooming up mm-hmm. yeah I, I like i like the the newer one better like this is the original one where the the mist on it i feel like they went so crazy on it it's super super heavy yeah some and- guy just asked like how are the solid free will indies all of the stuff I've ever gotten free will, um, and you know, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not ambassador or anything like that. Uh, they have been 100% fantastic. I have the Peter McCannon ones. I didn't say McKinnon. I said Peter McCannon, McCannon. ones. Um, I actually prefer the. I actually prefer the uh, the look of the uh, free will because the Peter McCannon ones, at least the version one, it had like this weird cast. Um, slight. I mean, they all have color cast. Right. But in terms of quality, like it's cheaper and it's just as good. I highly recommend it. Um, yeah. I, I, I like the McKinnon ones for if you're deliberately getting sun flares because like the inside of the, the filter has that gold mirroring in it. I think that's what helps with the like kind of flaring. Oh, yeah. So um, Freewell did this thing. So before they put it on the outside of theirs, the older Freewell, like the Freewell Mist, the standard ones, mm. they flare like. Like you, whenever time you use, you see like a flare in your lens. I don't know what they did something with this new the versatile system. The one I'm using right now, I don't get those flares anymore. Um, so, yeah, they they were doing something to try to get rid of the ghosting thing that was going on. But he caught it. Know, this, like I'm he's... doing sunset stuff. But like for sure, I, I like using the McKinnon one because it adds a little bit more of a gold hue to. Oh, okay, sweet. stuff. Some of the free wall can do a little bit more green, and obviously, if you're oh, okay. bouncing, yeah, that yeah, would yeah. go away. But yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, the free wall one's really. If you like want if you buy a filter and you want to spend a hundred bucks, hands down, that's the second, yeah. that's the best budget. I, I agree. Option. I mean, yeah. in the versatile system, like you could take the V and D off and on, like put mm-hmm. in your pocket. Like it's like you don't want to take it I off. I like State Park's like magnetic shirt where he would put <laughs> magnets in his pocket and he just kind of oh, yeah. throws this filter on there. And say he's always doing some wild stuff. I man. almost lost mine when we were testing these things and uh when we before they came out, I was up in like North Shore on some ski resort and there's this big like patio thing outside one of the ski resorts. Yeah. It's all like metal grate flooring. And I like, I saw it drop and it was like, ah! <laughs> cause I was like, if I hits the floor, it's going to go through the floor and down the mountain, you know, like, so I was like juggling and I, I kicked it and I just got it just, just in time. And that was my one fear with the like multi set is that if you take something off, are you going to drop it easily? Because it's like, I drop everything. I'm butterfingers over here. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, having seen say parks little like magnet magnet shirt mount thing that was kind of genius so yeah he's always like rigging up some stuff like he, he last is. week he did a shoot and he like rigged up he's reviewing these lights and then like, he like he like built like this rig for like dang man you know yeah i mean if if uh if somebody was saying do they need the the, the big magnetic all in one system and they had nothing um and they were going to be buying more than one you know uh filter then i i i say at that point absolutely go for it it's it's convenient it's nice if there's somebody that already has a filter and they're like oh but i like the idea of the magnetic i mean maybe but i i would probably still stay away from that and just 
buy you know the one more filter it's cheaper i got like something like this tied like it's got a you can screw it on to another filter or, or and screw another filter on top of this thing. So if you wanted to, you could actually take a variable ND and screw it on top of the front of this one and yeah. you get a mist. So that, that's kind of what I'm using right now. I'm just for my mist, but um, yeah, I, don't I mean, I'm not I, don't use ND filters. <laughs> I just use this for the mist. Yeah, I don't here, even use on. ND. There we go. Oh, my that's one hilarious. light. Look at that. Damn, man. Kyle, look, you got a tan, bro. Yeah. Well, you got a tan from that your key light? Golly! See, it almost doesn't. It, on my, my setup right now, it doesn't almost look like. Maybe I got a halo. Oh no, no, you know, you, there's definitely some bloom going on. <laughs> They're fun though. I, I I like shooting with these at night. Yeah. They're fun. All I'm right. On the one stop though. Um. So, w is there any, anything that you want to leave uh, the audience with? Anybody? Anything you want to like? Like tell people about um for as far as what to expect from coming from your channel in the future uh what's coming from my channel in the future i think i'm gonna start doing a lot more i just recently did like uh you know like i said the uh, first person point of view behind the scenes of a wedding and uh it seems to be getting pretty good traction a lot of people are asking for more of that um and i'm probably gonna start doing more of that and obviously i'm gonna continue to have Fook Mai on the channel um, doing stupid stuff. Um, and, you know, I'm just do reviews whenever I get something I feel like is worth reviewing. I think I am going to review the DJ action too. Um, if you're interested in something like that, like, uh, yeah, you know, after I use it for another couple weeks, figure out. That's about it. Yes. Awesome. Well, hey, Vu, I appreciate Oh, you. I also have another channel. Um, I have like a like channel dedicated channel. just for like fishing and, uh, oh my truck and stuff so we lost kyle kyle didn't pay for his uh verizon bill looks like <laughs> it's, uh those those uh those batteries you know from sony you know they just they, what's going they on last you can human, all right yeah there's something going on like these batteries normally uh don't die midstream mm -hmm. when it's plugged into the computer but lately they have been interesting i don't understand are, are those legit Sony batteries or that's like wasabi? Yeah, no, they're, they're Sony batteries. Hmm. Wasabi. Um, <laughs> ZTE, whatever. Like, yeah, I used to buy, I used to buy those ones back in the day. What the hell happened? But there we anyway, go. oh, well, thanks. Thanks for coming back just for the last bit of it, Kyle. I appreciate that. Um, anyways, but yeah, thank you so much, Vu. And everybody just, you know, there, there are links down in the description for Vu's channel. If you haven't already subscribed to him or you don't know who he is, Check him out. Got a lot of great stuff. Uh, a lot of wedding shoots. His cinematic wedding shoots are phenomenal. And then obviously you, you can tell his comedy and and just the raw and realness uh, coming from him. Uh, I really know, appreciate you guys having me on here. Um, and you know, just inviting me to you know sign up for a slot. Uh, you know, I, it's awesome. I had a great time. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, you guys, you guys are very supported to, to your fellow too. YouTubers, and it's you know it's good to see. Unlike me, who call everyone tube douchers, like you guys. Are the opposite of that. We try. Okay. We try. But uh, you guys yeah. are doing what Jesus would do. Easter is on Sunday. Appreciate it, and happy Easter, guys. If happy you're into Easter. that kind of thing. Um. Yeah. Uh. Oh, there you go. It's Terry Warfield. Underrated. Yep. I am. So I uh, anyway, um. Vus, uh, make sure you uh, kick Kyle up. Feel free to hit him up if you come to Minnesota and you actually have any time that you want to get together. I know I know Kyle loves meeting other creators, so yeah. Um, maybe we'll make some good content. Time, yeah. And 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 maybe you just need a third shooter to shoot that epic, you know, that wedding mm -hmm. and to get those shots right. See see if he actually wants to try to shoot weddings again. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, see, man, it's like something that you actually have to enjoy doing. I actually do. Mm -hmm. Which is why I'm still doing it, but I know just, how it would be. You're just there for the like reception, right? Yeah, it's uh, it could be at the pain in the butt, man. Um, but it's fun. Just it's there for the free food. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Free food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Our like guess. I said, highly appreciate coming on, uh, guys. We're, we're going to be you know doing this again next week, and rumor has it we we could possibly. Ha I don't know if we nailed for sure down Mr. Warfield there, but. Uh, it's it's a it's a quite big possibility. We'll see, uh, but we will be here same time, uh, same place next week. Uh, Vu, once again, thanks, and uh, you guys know that uh, 
We'll see you in the future.